Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. The Significance of the Cross, Mark's Account of the Crucifixion and Resurrection. The Gospel of Mark redefines the concept of the Kingdom of God, presenting it as an narrative of healing, forgiveness, suffering, and service. In the second part of Mark's Gospel, the author grapples with apparent contradiction between Jesus' kinship and his crucifixion, aiming to show that the crucifixion does not negate Jesus' kinship, but rather defines it. The narrative in Mark shifts to Jerusalem, where Jesus enters the city in a royal procession, being hailed as the coming king by the crowd. However, this reception is met with opposition from Jewish authorities. Jesus criticizes the temple and its practices, leading to intensified opposition. The Jewish leaders attempt to trap Jesus with a question about paying taxes to Caesar, putting him in a difficult position. Jesus' last supper with his disciples and his subsequent arrest heightened the narrative tension. The opposition against Jesus grows culminating in Judas Iscariot's betrayal. Mark does not explain the betrayal, but accepts it as a given. Jesus continues to affirm his commitment to God's kingdom, symbolized through the Passover meal, where he associates his body and blood with deliverance and belonging to God's covenant. Jesus is then taken to a trial conducted by Jewish leaders, which violates legal procedures. The high priest questions Jesus about his claim to be the Christ, and Jesus affirms his identity. Pilate, the Roman governor, also interrogates Jesus, but finds no evidence of a threat to Roman rule. Despite Pilate's reluctance, he gives in to the demands of the crowd and sentences Jesus to crucifixion. The crucifixion becomes the climax of the conflicting claims about Jesus. For his opponents, it demonstrates the fullness of Jesus' kingship, while for Mark, it signifies the authenticity of Jesus' kinship. Jesus' suffering on the cross completes the redefinition of kinship as self-giving and enduring suffering. Jesus' cry of abandonment echoes the depth of human suffering and shows his full participation in the human experience. In conclusion, the crucifixion challenges the perception of Jesus' kinship but according to Mark, it ultimately affirms the character of his kinship. The crucifixion and resurrection in the Gospel of Mark are central to understanding Jesus' mission and the redefined concept of the kingdom of God. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us in this powerful journey through the Gospel of Mark. We've just concluded the significance of the cross, Mark's account of the crucifixion and resurrection. We've traversed a tumultuous path leading to Jerusalem, witnessed the profound moments of Jesus' last days, and reflected on the enduring message of the cross that redefines kingship through service and sacrifice. As we move forward, let's keep the insights we've gained close to our hearts and minds. Join us next time for episode 28, Understanding Forgiveness in Matthew, Trust, Transformation, and Community, where we'll explore the transformative power of forgiveness as taught in the Sermon on the Mount. Don't miss this opportunity to deepen your understanding of trust, transformation, and community within the Christian life. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on our next session. Until then, may we all carry the message of the cross with us, allowing it to shape our daily walk and commitment to faith. Thank you for being part of our community of scholars and seekers. Peace be with you 
and see you next time for our continued exploration of Matthew's Gospel.